risque behavior. You don't have a penis. You're a, you're a woman. Uh, you're a woman. You don't got a penis. Uh, let me let me teach you something about anatomy. Men have men have penises. Women have vaginas. And when you hey, even if you cut off your penis or cut off your vagina, when you stand before God, you will stand before God as a man. Even if you identify as a woman. Oh, let me go. I hey, get that. Look, I know. Here we go. Now you see you. You, push me, I push you, bitch. you You need to you need to repent, lady. You need to repent and get right with God. You need to repent and get right with God. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. Did you push me first? You need to repent and get right with God. I pushed you harder, brother. Again, you're touching my breast. Don't touch me. Wait, so you have breast and a penis? <laughs> no, you don't. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not a tranny. You're, you're a confused human being. You're a woman. And maybe no one ever told you. I, God says you're a woman. He said man and female. Man and female, he created them. He didn't create two spirits. He, you don't have one. You don't have a penis. You do not have a penis. You're delusional. The Bible says in the last days, uh, God will send people strong delusions. Transgenders are under strong delusions. If you are a woman and you think that you can have a penis, that's a strong delusion. Let me ask, let me ask you a question. Let me ask a question. I have a penis. Like, come on, dude. If, if this, <laughs> if she says she got a penis, she got a penis. I mean, <laughs> it's a stupid argument. It's like the dumbest argument in the world that you would sit there and argue with a person whether they got a penis or not. If they said they got one, cool. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. They out there pushing on each other and all that stuff. It's ridiculous. And then my thing is, too. I see people on the like people like really be out there like preaching and stuff like that. I don't stop to say nothing. You just keep walking. Woo! Person. I was born with a micro penis. You were, you were born. That's a clit. That's not a that's not a micro penis. That's a that's a, that's a clitoris. That's a clitoris. You were born with boobs and a vagina. You were born with boobs. He said, that's not a, a micro penis. <laughs> it's an enlarged clitoris. Yes, you're right. Hey, that's right. You, I also have a penis. you have a vagina, you have a clitoris, and you have a penis? Yes, you are, you know, that's not true. Can you imagine that all the decisions in your life lead you up to the moment where you're on the sidewalk and there's a woman? I have a penis. Like, just in your face, like, I have a penis. And you're like, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. You do not have a penis. You do not have a penis. Yes, I do. You're, so you're saying you're, you're hermaphrodite? Yes. I don't believe you. What? I, I, you just Because you just lied and said you're transgender. Transgender is hermaphrodite to do different things. You just don't want to become a I want to be a man. You want to be a man? Well, let me... You want to be a man? I thought you said you had one. You see what I'm saying? all over the place. Look, look. What you need to do is get right with God. What you need to do is get right with God. You need to get right with God. You know, God says he'll give you a new mind. Listen, listen, lady. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. God, ma'am, God, God, God can give you a new heart. Now, what, what you're going through is called this confusion. The Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. God loves you. I want you to understand God loves you. Listen, God loves you. God loves you. But you have to repent. God loves you, but you have to repent. Yeah, you, for, of your transgenderism. No, you don't. You don't. Is, is this honorable? Yelling at me and spitting on me while you talk? Like, I, I asked for the sports, not the weather. Right, did I assault you? Put that mic. Put me on the mic. Come on, you put me on the mic. Grab it now. Put you on the mic. Just let go. Let go. Go ahead. I see. You know God loves you, first of all. Hush, hush. You know he died for your sins? And he's the only way to heaven? All this confusion that you have going on in your mind, God can set you free. That's what I want you to know. You idiot. You think you're that you're a man. That's confusion. You're confused because you don't know basic biology. There are hermaphrodites that are born. Do you have a period? No, I do not. You don't have a period? Yeah, yeah you guys need to repent and get right with God. And, and look, when you, are you a man or a woman? I'm a woman. You're, no, you were born a man. No! You were born a man. You got a beard and everything. Look, check this out. Check this out. When you stand before God, he's going to call you a sir. 
You can't, you can't stand before God with gender identity. But if you were born with a penis, God is going to judge you as a man. If you were born with a vagina, God's going to judge you as a woman. Uh, that's what's going to happen. I just don't. Uh, you're just making stuff up. Okay, if you're born, if, if you're born with both, then what you have, your your chromosomes will rather be X or Y dominant, and yours, yours are yours are woman dominant. You have boobs. You have boobs. Where'd you get boobs from? Do men have boobs? Do men have boobs? Listen, huh? You have no knowledge about the gender. Uh, uh, can, can a man feed a child with his boobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so <laughs> men can come out of a man's boobs? Yeah, because it's not just about your fucking biology, <coughs> asshole. What, tell me what it's about. It is about who you are. It's about you as a person. It is about it's about you on the inside. It is not just about what your parts are. Bring them who, who taught you that? Why do you believe that? No. Because I've read a lot of lies in God. No, no, let me ask you a question. Edited. How how does person say uh, it's not about biology? It's not about your parts. <laughs> yes, it is. A man can't carry a child and nourish a baby because we don't have the parts. <laughs> this is a dumb argument. It's people, people, people. What they entertain is ridiculous. <laughs> This made my day. Like, I never thought, like, um, the only thing better is, like, if I was there. Because I would have enjoyed that. Like, say, like, I'm like, oh, it's such a boring day. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to go get some lunch. And so then I'm like, I go get me some lunch. And I'm like, okay. Um, I got, like, a little bit of time left. I'm going to eat my food. I'm going to watch, like, a little 30-minute show or whatever. Cool. So I walk out the place. And as I'm passing H&M, I see this woman out there thrusting herself into this man. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I hear her yelling out, I have a penis. And I'm like, what the? F I'm like, damn that 30-minute show. I'm watching this. I'm like back there with the other people. And... um I'm eating my food and I'm watching and I'm enjoying the show because it's like I never would thought I'd see this argument. Seen a lot of arguments. They all kind of things I expect to see. I never expect to see this. And then to watch this other woman walk up with a beer and say, <laughs> it's not about biology. Can a man feed a baby with his chest? Yeah, because it's about the individual. <laughs> Risky behavior.